Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Since last time, I restocked on power pills for Wen Wen and Yan Liang, but I also bought a couple more steeds since I used my previous two recruiting those generals there. I'm not going to be recruiting anyone in the very near future, but I just happened to be at a shop that sold them, and we're not going to have many opportunities to do that for the remainder of the game without warping somewhere. So, yeah, restock on them now, and we'll be good to go for quite some time. So now, we got to get back to Guangzhou Castle, and then, well, move onward from there to look for Jishou Castle, or wherever Yuan Shao is. How many castles does this guy have, anyhow? Got a lot of castles around here. In Palisades. Well, at least they're fortified appropriately. Okay, how are we looking here? I don't think I need to... Yeah, we don't need to rest up. I think we're good to go. So, now, let's head over to the east. There's only so many places he can hide around here. There's not much more land left. I mean, south of the Great Wall, that is. But they do have a lot of brigands around here for some reason. I would think, you know, a cold, snowy terrain wouldn't exactly be the best place to rob someone. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But okay, so we go over here to the south. Boom, we've got our castle. Hooray! Okay, so yeah, I... Oh! We're not quite ready to go, because I want to move some of Zhang Fei's equipment over to Liu Feng. Because I want to have a bit more intelligence early on in the next few battles. Rather, and save my power pills and everything for the castle itself. So I'm not even going to move the power pills from Zhang Fei to... Liu Fang, he wouldn't deal that much damage with them anyway. Okay, and then rearrange the formation. And now I think we're good to go. For boss time against Mayan and Luzian. Let's see what we got there. Yeah, nothing too extraordinary here. Looks like they both have sabers as far as their attack points are concerned. But yeah, Luzian is going to be the bigger threat. So, what I want to do is let's keep going with Yan Rei to take out the rebel forces. I'm not even going to bother using power pills here. They don't even have a thousand soldiers, so they're not that threatening, even with the amount of strength that Lu Xiang has. But otherwise, yeah, this should be uh, pretty easy here. Trying to soften us up, I guess, a little before the, the real fights. But yeah, since we got the trident, that really helps out not needing the power pills early on. Oh, that's why I'm using three, Yanre. Sometimes two just isn't enough to get the job done. And also, you might have noticed, these guys do not have an extraordinary amount of intelligence. So that's why I've brought Liu Feng around here. But I think I'm going to have everyone go after Mayan, except for... Liu Fang. I mean, surely he could finish off Liu Jiang. There you go. I actually wasn't entirely confident in that statement. <laughs> but, uh, it worked out. Hooray! I knew you could do it, Liu Fang. Okay, for the next one, yeah, pretty much the same deal. Let's break on through. To boss time against Zhang Yi and Guo Tu. Let's see what we're dealing with now. This guy is not extraordinarily threatening there. But Guo Tu has over a thousand soldiers, so we want to take him out. And I also want to recruit him eventually, because he's actually got a decent amount of intelligence. Or at least better than Wen Hen and Yan Liang. But uh, okay, so yeah, we're just going to go with Yan Rei again here. Have everyone else go after Guo Tu. And we should be able to at least get him below a thousand soldiers. But again, save your power pills. You will need 
most, if not all of them, for the castle coming up. Okay, there we go. Still, I would send everything that I've got at Cool Tube. I'm thinking if I want to use another round of Yanre, though. Or maybe even get a little healing going before moving on. Maybe Yin Zian. That can restore up to a thousand soldiers for all party members, but it costs 10 DP. That's a lot at this point. Hmm. Okay, how about we do this? Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Yin Zian. I'm gonna play it a little safe here, but everyone else go after Ghoul 2, but no more. Well, I could use a Yan Rain. I'd still have enough for another Yin Zian later. No, actually, I don't want to do that. I want to save my uh, TP for Fu Bing, eventually. So, yeah, we'll just uh, have everyone gang up on Guil 2. He's the only real threat here. Maybe I should have put Liu Fang further up in the formation. So that way he would take a bunch of hits that I really don't care about because I'm not going to be using him in the next battle. Unfortunately, though, we did take another hit there. Hmm. Well, hopefully, uh, yeah, we can just uh, go all out now and we'll be fine. I am a little concerned about Zhao Yun's soldiers, but I think we'll leave that alone for now. Okay, so now, yeah, let's get the equipment back over to Zhang Fei there. Maybe take some heat off of Zhao Yun there. Yeah, that is, like, one of the drawbacks with Zhao Yun. His soldier count doesn't grow as fast as it does for other Tiger Generals. So sometimes that can be a little bit of a liability. But he's not like a, a glass cannon or anything. He's really, really good. Okay, so we got all that. And let's see, I think I'm getting close to gaining another level. So yeah, make sure you don't have your tactician in the seventh slot there. But otherwise, yeah, I think we're good to go. To finally end... Yuan Chao's Reign of Terror. For boss time! Uh-oh. Not... Oh. <laughs> Lu Bu is by far the strongest general in this battle. Ow. Well, good thing I didn't use my uh, Yin Zian already. Because I'm going to need it now. Okay. So yeah, the thing with Lu Bu is that he has a trident worth of attack points there. So he's going to be at least double the damage that everyone else can do with their sabers. So I'm just basing it on how many attack points they have. Now, if you didn't kill Yuan Chu earlier, uh, he would actually be present in this battle. But otherwise, it doesn't really change much, so I'm not going to bother showing him alternate version here, but uh, yeah, Jujo has quite a bit of intelligence there. Little concerned, but uh, the other guys are much more threatening to me. So now, let's see. Okay, so let's go... Yeah, I want to have everyone, or almost everyone, go after Lu Bu. And since he's the only one who has, like, really low intelligence, I want Guan Yu and Zhao Yun to use Fu Bing on him. And then, yeah, let's get some power pills going there. But let's have Yan Liang use uh, Yin Zian there to heal us up. Not to mention Wen Wen is getting a little close to dropping below a thousand soldiers there. Ow! Please don't kill him. Thank you. Yeah, look at that healing. But that's all the healing I'm going to have for this one. But, uh, oh right, got him below a thousand soldiers, but I still want to finish off Lu Bu. Because of his, uh, high attack power there. Okay, so, I'm thinking if I want, uh, Wen Wen to finish off Lu Bu, probably. And then I can have the others work on 
uh, well, the other generals. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't think we could drop Yuan Chao below a thousand soldiers, but I could probably do that to Zhang He. He's the next most powerful after Liu Bu. So, yeah, how about we do that? Let's go everyone at Zhang He, except for Wen Wen, who can certainly finish off Lu Bu, as long as we don't miss. Of course, if they keep on attacking Guan Yu, that would be a problem. Yeah, you see how the power pill works there? It doesn't work on the second hit of Fu Bing there. Unless he lost his Fu Bing buff there. Ow! Okay, that was a bit overkill there. Well, that's going to remove Fu Bing anyway, so... Oh, well. But we'll be fine. Okay, so... Let's see. Let's go like this. Zhang Fei up top there. Along with Wen Wen. And then everyone else at Zhuzhou that should be able to drop them all below a thousand soldiers this round. And uh, Zhang He is fine. But yeah, I did put a, a bit too much on him earlier. But that's okay. He's going to be my first target to kill in this round anyway. Hmm. I think we can have Wen Wen finish him off. And then everyone else. Go after Yuan Chao there. Start working on him. Jujo is not really that threatening. I mean, yeah, he does have uh, a lot of intelligence there. But I'm not using tactics to damage him anyway. I'm getting a little tight there, but we'll see. I think we'll be fine, though, especially if we can take out Yuan Chao there. Okay, so now, you know, last of the power pills. But let's have Wen Wen go after Ju Cho there. Since, yeah, that would have been way overkill on Yuan Chao. Ow! Wow, they really want you dead, huh? But whatever works. Thank you for canceling nothing. Okay, yeah, just go all out. Boom, he's dead. Hooray! We finally put an end to their reign of terror at last. And for defeating them, we get a level. All right. More soldiers than ever before, and we learned Jiro, which reduces all damage to your party, to your entire party, by 50%. That's obscene. So not just fire or water tactics, everything gets that is attacking you will deal half damage there. Who would Lu Bei have to say about our victory here? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!